Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Deb on the web. I'm Debbie, and I'm very excited to show you some interesting clips I found on the internet today. Without further ado, I'd like to get into that, but this is for entertainment purposes only. And to quote my friend Scully, the truth is out there, but so are the lies. So it's up to you to do your own research and find out the truth. Dig, friends. Dig. Okay, let's get to it. Wait a minute. What do you guys think about that? Do we wonder about Mr. Wonder? This is the kind of thing I've heard rumors about for years, but I just think it would be such a huge commitment to pretend to be blind for your whole life. But I wouldn't be surprised people seem to do anything for fame. Imagine you're me scrolling on your For You page uh, in the middle of the night and you see this. Now, this is a doll. Let's get that out of the way first. And this woman married this doll. There you go. Just picture them at their wedding. And she has like an entire family of like zombie dolls. But is this not so like unnerving? And also, is that not like a child zombie doll? I understand this is not what my like page normally is about like it's usually like crime and like hauntings and stuff like that but like this is freaking me out well first of all there's definitely a child zombie doll but, and there are just so many things wrong here all i want to say is if you were one of the doubters of the mental health crisis in this country i hope we've just clarified that for you I am about to show you the source of all of my nightmares for the rest of my life. So I've been doing some research to do a deep dive into the Uncanny Valley. Uncanny Valley basically explains why things like this are creepy, okay? As things become more like humans, at first it's just cute because it's 10%, 20%, 30% looks like a human. It's like whatever. Once it hits that 70% threshold, it immediately becomes super creepy. And it's called the Uncanny Valley because everybody just has this thing inside of them where they're like something's wrong and I'm put off by it. Which led me to this. I know that art is supposed to make you feel a certain way. This is Kate Clark. And you want to know what her medium is? Taxidermy and giving it human faces. Here she is on her Instagram with Neil Patrick Harris. She has many museum exhibits open. But I just... I... This freaks me out. I don't know why. But these images... I could have gone my whole life without seeing this. And now you guys have to see it too, because if I'm this way, I need you guys to be this way with me. I'm never gonna be the same again. Why? That's that's the only question I can think right now. The only question I have for you at this time, Kate, is why? 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 I agree. Art is supposed to make you feel certain something and it's not always something settling, but why? What do you guys think? Did you hang some of that up in your house to go with your aesthetic? I used to have a coworker uh, who became my friend and we, we were both pretty artistic and kind of the youngest in the office. So we would give each other um, post-its that had two different animals on it. And we would like assign each other, you have to draw that. So we got into just drawing on little post-its these like animal hybrids. We thought of it more of like the Napoleon dynamite thing, but this makes me feel creepy. Oh, they never had human faces though. That's, that's further. Okay, here's a little more about the Uncanny Valley though, because I had never heard of this. You guys are probably way cooler than me, but I didn't know what that was. So I kind of dug a little deeper. is the uncanny valley trend so disturbing? TikTokers are using their makeup skills to try and appear as uncanny valley. Their videos show them enhancing and distorting their natural features, such as their eyes, mouth, and eyebrows. But what actually is uncanny valley? 
The idea of Uncanny Valley is that when robots have human qualities, we like it. But when they start to appear too human-like, it makes us feel creeped out and uneasy. And now TikTokers are trying to create this unsettling look through makeup, and their aim is to mimic the same uneasy feeling you get when looking into the eyes of a robot. Though some social media users argue that the best way to do the Uncanny Valley trend is not to show the makeup process. Instead, you should film yourself already in your Uncanny Valley getup, so viewers haven't ruled out the creator as human. Thanks for the tip. I had to put this clip in there also because this guy really creeped me out. <laughs> oh man. And if you're looking for a little more scientific kind of where that term came from and when it came about, here's a one more video on the uncanny value, and then I'll stop. If this creeps you out, here's the reason why. Oh, oh. Oh. This right here is a classic case of the uncanny valley. This is a TikTok video that's gone super viral pretty recently, and that's because it's quite creepy. This guy is walking in the dark and sees a lady that looks somewhat normal. However, when he gets closer and we can see her face, we can see that something isn't quite right. This doesn't really look human. Now, of course, this video right here is staged and this is makeup, but this is a perfect example of the uncanny valley. The term uncanny valley was coined back in the 1970s by this Japanese roboticist right here, Masahiro Mori. The uncanny valley has everything to do with robots and it states that the more human-like a robot is, the more that people are going to like it. But the valley here is when it comes close to being human-like, but it's not quite there. And this is what makes people creeped out when they see nearly humanoid robots. This robot is a perfect example because it has a human face. You could tell that it's trying to be a human, but it's not quite there and that might creep you out. Overall, this is a super popular trend right now with people trying to create uncanny valley content. So if you see something like that, now you know. More you know. Uh, yeah, I, I it's just creepy. But hey, at least there's a word for that thing. That feeling of being creeped out. All right. Well, I don't want to leave you with only nightmare fuel, so here's a happy video to end on. You can borrow a dog for the day in Hawaii and take them on a hike to the beach or just on a lunch date. And these programs aren't only for fun. They're lifelines for packed shelters across the islands. Hawaiian shelters are regularly at critical capacity, partially due to the fact that so many rental units on the islands don't allow pets. But programs like Maui's Dog on Demand, Kauai's Field Trips for Shelter Dogs, and Oahu's Ileo Explorers are helping. The idea is that you let shelter staff know what your plans are for the day, and they'll match you with a dog that would like that kind of activity. So if you're going for a long hike, they'll match you with a more energetic pup. And if you're just going for lunch on a dog-friendly patio, they might pair you with a more laid-back or senior dog. You check out your dog from the shelter in the morning, along with a backpack filled with all of the supplies that you need. You then take your borrowed dog along with you for the day and then return them in the evening. Not only does this get the dogs out of the shelters, it also helps socialize them, making them more adoptable. Plus, they might even meet a potential adopter while they're out and about. If you fall in love with your borrowed dog but you don't live on the island, the shelter will gladly assist with off-island adoptions and help you arrange transportation to take them home. And that happens all the time. I'm Jen and I post something positive every day. This is amazing. Why are we not doing that here? We need a special program here for this. We also have immensely crowded shelters shelters if you want to call them that. Animals are being euthanized after only being held for a few days. We can do better. Come on, we can do better. This is a great program. Fully support it. Well, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week, rest of your day, rest of your night, start to your day, whatever it may be. And that's it. Okay. Bye, Grandma. Good night. I love you. <laughs>